Today, I'm going to go through a list of 21 things you should do if you don't want to grow as a software developer. I've really been looking forward to doing this video, by the way. These things are all based on my experience, things that I've seen other developers do in the past. I was inspired to do this by watching one of the videos of Alex Hormozzi, who does videos about developing businesses, so that's really interesting. But I thought it would be nice to do one about software development. Now, make sure you watch this video until the end, because at the end of this video, I'm going to blast through the opposite of these 21 things really fast. So basically the things you should do if you want to grow as a software developer. Before I start, I have something for you. It's a free workshop that helps you diagnose issues in code much faster. You can get access at ion.codes slash diagnosis. In the workshop, I describe a three part framework that you can use to more quickly analyze code. And as an example, I go through some existing code bases that are being used in production. You might even use some of these libraries yourself. So iron.codes slash diagnosis. I've also put the link in the description of this video. Now let's go through 21 things that you should do if you don't want to grow as a software developer. The first one is to stick to one technology and refuse to use anything else. If you know about Django, refuse to use anything else but Django. If you only use React, just use React and refuse to look any other technologies. If you don't want to grow as a developer, stick to one technology and close your ears and your eyes to anything else that's out there. Second thing you should do if you don't want to grow is to focus on making your code work, but not on actually understanding what your code is doing. So just, you know, shift some lines of code around try some different values of parameters until you get something that seems to work. Do that if you don't want to grow as a software developer. The third one, it's also a big one that I've seen lots of developers do. If you don't want to grow, only do software development tasks you're assigned at work. Don't take any extra projects on at home. Just do your job and when you finish at 5 p.m., go home and forget all about it. Do that if you don't want to grow as a software developer. Next thing, don't read any books if you don't want to grow. In particular, don't read books about software design and software development. Why would you read books? You know how to do your job, right? If you don't want to grow, don't read anything. Just stick to what you already know and keep doing the same thing over and over again. Another thing you should do if you don't want to grow as a developer is don't listen to feedback from other developers. Assume that you know exactly how to solve best the problem and that other people are not going to give you any helpful advice whatsoever. Don't listen to them. Next, if you don't want to grow as a developer, don't ever review code from other developers. Only focus on your own code. You don't want to take a look at that other developer's code because it's not relevant to you. Don't look at it. Just focus on your own code if you don't want to grow as a software developer. The next thing you should do if you don't want to grow is that if you do review code by other developers, the goal is to show how smart you are. So make sure those code reviews are negative, played on the person and really focus on showing how well you know the domain and that you could do a much better job than that other developer whose code you're reviewing. Next thing to do if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't write any tests. You know, once you've written the code and you checked that the happy path works, throw everything over the fence. That's for the QA department to solve. That's not for you as a developer. So don't do those things if you don't want to grow as a software developer. Next point, and this is also a big one that I've seen quite a lot. Don't spend any time refactoring or improving the design of your code. As soon as you've written a script that works, that seems to solve the problem, consider your work done. Don't look again at the code, don't try to think about ways to improve things or restructure things so that there is the change later on. No, don't spend any time. Just make the script work and you're done. The next thing, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, is to don't spend any time learning the ins and outs of your code editor. Just open it up, use the basics, don't look at the settings, don't learn any keyboard shortcuts by heart, don't spend any time on it, just use the code editor as is. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, give it a like. It's going to help others on YouTube find this content as well. All right, the next thing you should do if you don't want to grow as a software developer, and that's to not spend time learning more about the features of the programming language that you're using. Just use the basics, 
don't learn faster ways to code. You don't need that if you don't want to grow. Just keep it to the basics. Next thing, if you don't want to grow, always assume that if something works on your machine, it works everywhere. Because you have the most generic machine in the world that is a perfect representation of any other machine, including the machines of your customers. So if it works in your machine, it works everywhere. You don't have to test it anymore. If you don't want to grow as a software developer, that's what you should assume. Another assumption you should make if you don't want to grow is that if someone is not a software developer, that they're stupid and they're not going to give you any useful advice. Only listen to what other software developers are saying. If somebody is not a software developer, you shouldn't take them seriously. Another thing to do if you don't want to grow as a software developer is to always stay within your lane. If you're a backend engineer, never do any front-end engineering and vice versa. Just keep to your own thing that you know about and do only that thing. I mean, as a backend engineer, you don't need to know anything about front-end, right? And as a front-end, you really don't need to know anything about backend because those are two separate things. If you don't want to grow as a software developer, stay within your lane. Next thing, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't try to improve the way you communicate with others, especially when you're talking with people who are not developers. You don't have to explain what you're doing. You don't have to be able to translate your work into something that other people understand. This is your domain. You're the smart guy. You don't have to worry about that. If you don't want to grow, don't try to communicate with other people. Next, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't teach other more junior people. Let other people deal with that. You don't do that. You have to spend your time on software development. If you don't want to grow, don't teach. The next thing you should do if you don't want to grow is to stay in your own bubble and don't actively ask questions to others. You're assuming that you know everything. Nobody else can help you. So you spend just more time in your bubble trying to solve any problems that you have. Don't talk with other people. If you don't want to grow as a developer, stay in your own bubble. Then, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't consider any privacy or security issues of your code while you're developing. Simply make sure that the feature works and whether it's secure or not, you don't really care about that. You know, the QA departments can look into it later and tell you what to do. If you don't want to grow, don't consider those things that's outside of your domain. All right, then, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't involve the customer when you're thinking through the design of your application. You are the software developer. You have all the knowledge. You don't have to listen to other people. Next, if you don't want to grow as a software developer, don't value your reputation. Your reputation doesn't matter. If it suits your needs, just be unreliable. You know, if you realize that you can just make a bit more money over the back of a customer by not implementing something or by delivering something that's half finished, do it. You're going to have more money. The final thing you should do if you don't want to grow as a software developer is to always optimize for highest salary. You want to make the most money possible. It's all that counts. Ignore the rest. Anything that makes you more money is good to go. So that's a whole list of 21 things you should do if you don't want to grow as a software developer. Just do all those things and you're going to be perfectly stuck in the position that you're at now. What I'm going to do now is take those 21 things turn them around. So these are the things that you should do if you want to grow as a software developer. So are you ready? Let's go. Always be open to using new technologies. Broaden your horizon and you learn new things all the time. Focus on understanding what your code is actually doing and why it works. It'll be easier to change and maintain. Take on a side project next to your day job. You learn a lot because you have the freedom to use whatever technology you want and there are no deadlines. Read lots of books. Books are an incredibly cheap way of tapping into the knowledge of others and avoiding the mistakes they made. Read books such as Clean Code to improve your software design skills. Always listen to feedback from others. You're not as smart as you think you are. You have a ton of blind spots. If someone points one out to you, it's the best thing ever because you'll be a better person after addressing it. Review code from other developers as often as possible. You'll learn new ways of coding, designing, and solving problems. 
If you review code from other developers, focus on giving advice that's as helpful as possible. Leave your ego at the door. Write tests alongside your code. Don't just test the happy path, but think about how your code will possibly break. Take responsibility for your work and only hand over your code if you think it's ready. Always plan some time for refactoring and improving your code as part of every coding task. Leave existing code you're working on in a better place than it was before. Spend a lot of time becoming comfortable with your editor. Change the settings to improve your workflow. That's what they're for. Learn and then use keyboard shortcuts to, to work faster. Learn the features of the program language that you use. The more in-depth knowledge you have about them, the more efficient you'll be able to write your code. If something works on your machine, that's not a guarantee that it works everywhere. Test your code in different environments, in particular in an environment that's as close as possible to production. Software developers have a specific, limited view on problems. Talk with people from different backgrounds to get a wider variety of viewpoints and you'll come up with better solutions. Get out of your comfort zone. If you're a back-end engineer, also do front-end work and vice versa. Having well-rounded knowledge helps you move faster. Always over-communicate and assume that nobody knows what the heck you're talking about. Teach others what you've learned. By teaching, you become an expert. Ask questions, even though you might already know the answer. Sometimes you'll be surprised of the response. Don't stay in your own bubble. Always consider privacy and security of your code when you're developing. Always involve the customer when you're thinking through how to set up your application. Ultimately, it's about serving their needs. Your reputation is all that counts. Be a reliable and trustworthy partner and keep your word. Don't optimize for salary. Optimize for a working environment that facilitates growth. The money doesn't matter if you're not happy. BAM! That's what you need to do in order to grow as a senior developer. I hope you liked this list and that it gave you some food for thought. I wish you a great year. You're going to be awesome. How do I know that? Well, you watched this video all the way to the end. So, there's hope for you. Especially if you watch this video next because it's going to help you prepare for a job interview. Thanks for watching. Love you, man. See you next week.